Hey there. Thank you for joining me, Stanley. Trying to enjoy a little bit of this Saturday and uh, did want to bring you kind of some closing thoughts on postmodernism. Um, if you guys continue to comment in, I will be glad to answer any other questions or comments, but um, I'm going to gonna wrap it up because uh, I heard an interview this week that I think perfectly encapsulated why we need to take some time to consider postmodernism in our world today. Um, so it was a conversation between two Christian apologists or uh, Christians who try to uh, defend the Christian faith, try to help uh, give a hearing to the Christian faith and defend some of its um, rational arguments, defend the fact that it is reasonable for Christians to believe in Christianity. And the two apologists who were talking are actually two very engaging apologists. Um, so the host was Abdu Murray. He is a uh, lawyer who uh, was an exceptional lawyer. I mean, this is um, extremely highly ranked lawyer for a long time. He uh, is a former Muslim who became a Christian later on, and he serves with Rabbi Zacharias International Ministries. Um, I believe he's one of their vice presidents. Um, and he was having a conversation with uh, J. Warner Wallace, who uh, had a long and very distinguished career as a cold case homicide detective. He, uh, some of his cold cases appeared on uh, like Dateline, um, you know, big television uh, cases where he's the detective who's walking you through the case and through the investigation. And he is an atheist turned Christian, and he has written a lot of books uh, that are much more engaging that explain Christianity, uh, such as Cold Case Christianity. Um, he takes a detective's view. And the conversation was on uh, Abdu Murray's The, the Lawyer's uh, podcast, which uh, looks at uh, the case that Christianity presents from a legal perspective. Um, so as a trial lawyer, Abdu Murray understands what it takes to win a trial, and he's laying that out as a trial lawyer would. So um, I would encourage you to, uh, you know, interact with Abdu Murray and Jay Warner Wallace and their uh, ways of looking at Christianity. Um, they are on the more engaging end. Um, but as they were talking, Jay Warner Wallace at one point uh, pointed out that it was it's um, only the facts that matter, only the rational arguments for Christianity that matter, only the um, you know historical facts that mean anything. And he went so far as to say his personal testimony, his his own kind of personal story, engaging Christianity, it doesn't matter at all. Just the facts. Just look at the facts. My personal story doesn't matter. Just look at the facts. And Abdu Murray tempered that a bit because he said, you know, he knows of a lot of people who uh, won't give the facts a hearing because of the lives of Christians that they witness. And they, they see how Christians live. They see the way that the person who's trying to talk to them about Christianity lives. And it's like, well, I am not going to listen to what you have to say about Christianity because look at how you live. Why would I want to? embrace something if you are someone who believes in that. And I, I think this kind of illustrates why it is so important for us to give postmodernism a hearing. Because for a long time as uh, disciples of the Enlightenment, as modern thinkers, um, those of us in the United States have pretty much thought along the lines of J. Warner Wallace. You know, the facts are the only thing that matter. Just forget everything else. doesn't matter all this other stuff. But rarely, if ever, in the world that we live in, is that what happens. Uh, what Abdu Murray said is right. You could be great at arguing the facts, but you could live a duplicitous immoral life and uh if that's the case and you're you argue for christianity and 
then you live in a way completely antithetical to the Christian life, no one's going to want to hear you. And you can say all you want about, don't worry about my testimony, just look at the facts. But at the end of the day, they're going to hear your testimony. They're going to be thinking about your testimony and they're going to see that as among the facts. Um, they're going to be thinking about how does Christianity uh, make sense of the rest of the world and how does Christianity have an impact on them and they're going to see that it hasn't had a very positive impact with you and to them that's going to say that those facts don't add up right. Or, or it's going to just turn them off. They're not going to try to listen to them at all. To, to think that we can do what Jay Warner Wallace advised and just hear the facts is to look at humans pretty much as thinking machines and that that's all that we are. But we're not just thinking machines. We have feelings. We have all sorts of emotions. We have a, a physical body that has its own different types of reactions. Um, and, and all of that is going to play a part in how we try to think about something. And we have our experiences that will color our mind to think certain ways. Um, this actually is why J. Warner Wallace is thinking the way he is, because he is looking at the backdrop of Mormonism. And to Mormons, the their main argument is if you read the Book of Mormon and you try to think through Mormon doctrine and you open your heart to experience it, then the experience of your heart will tell you that Mormonism is true. And I've had Mormons tell me this. And... That's the way that a lot of Christians do look at sharing the Christian faith isn't, you know, what are the what are the facts? What's the, the kind of grounding fact that Jesus bodily rose from the dead and that this is a historical fact that we can back up? Um, most Christians don't look at that at all. And so your willingness to believe in Christianity is about on par with someone else's willingness to agree to believe in Mormonism or Islam or Buddhism or the New Age thinking, I mean, all of it kind of is, well, this feels right and it feels like it works for me. So J. Warner Wallace is arguing against going to the far end of postmodernism with his thoughts and with what he says. But I think for most of us, we aren't where J. Warner Wallace is, where we need to say, hey, we just need to look at the facts. And we need to forget all that other stuff and just look at the facts. I think for most of us, we need that little bit of postmodernism that says, you know, in addition to the facts, there is also all this other stuff that influences our thinking. And if all we have are the facts, we're not going to have enough. Christianity is intellectually defensible with just the facts. Christianity is the best rational explanation of how the world works. And I have heard thinkers that are a million times smarter than I and better at arguing all of this than I am, who have taken Christian philosophy and Christian theology and have used it to explain how the world works better than any other way of explaining the world. And uh, you can have Christianity and just the, the thoughts of Christianity and make a perfectly wonderful argument and summarize how the world works. But if you have that and you present that to someone and then you go and are a horrible person, that awesome thought is probably not going to be enough to convince them. Or if you have the awesome thought and then you're an absolute jerk presenting it to someone and you do everything to insult them, it's not going to convince them. Postmodernism says, yes, you, there, are, there are indisputable facts that are the kind of bedrock for how you understand the world, and they need to be. But in addition to that, to, to get a true, to get a sense of truth, you don't just have facts, you have them all combined together with your experience and, um, and with um, like how, how those facts combine together, they, 
they can that'll shape culture and your culture will have its own shaped understanding of it and and even as you're connecting those facts you have a conditioned limited understanding and there's another understanding that could also be valid that's out there and and you have to combine all of this together and if we aren't careful we go to the extreme of it's just the facts completely forget about my behavior and your experience and dealing with all this other stuff that needs to be addressed or going to the extreme that Jay Warner Wallace argues against where you're only going to talk about your experience. You're only going to talk about emotions and feelings and, and it, well, it feels true to me and you don't actually deal with facts that are there. Um, so I, I thought this interview, um, I'll, I'll try to provide a link to help get you to the interview that I'm talking about. I thought it did kind of very uh, appropriately illustrate why I think it was so important to bring up postmodernism. So I hope that, I, I really hope that this has maybe helped you understand a bit more of how you think maybe pushed a little bit on the way that you think and the way that you look at the world um, and how you look at truth. And I hope that with all of this, that it will kind of encourage all of us to continue pursuing truth. Uh, because I guess there was one other thing I have to say about postmodernism and truth that it kind of helps realize that truth is a bit of a journey. Um, and so uh, we, we need to be continuing to pursue truth um, in order to truly find it. Uh, so uh, God bless you guys. Again, if you have comments, please continue to comment on any of the postmodern videos, and I will try to respond to comments as I see them, but I think this is going to be the last time I address postmodernism uh, for the time being. Thank you for joining me. God bless you. Bye.